their payments with their chiffon cake. Look at all the truffle there, hollandaise sauce with the egg. It's just beautiful. In today's episode, we'll be exploring my top three most Instagrammable cafes here in Sydney. They're great for photos, but they also taste absolutely fantastic. So if you have only one cafe to visit here in Sydney, then this cafe right behind me is a great place to start. All right, let's go. The grounds of Alexandria is an oasis of laneways, lush with greeneries, worthy spots for Instagram, and a good introduction to your Sydney brunch culture experience. From its aesthetic look, wildlife habitats, to its impeccable coffee, the grounds of Alexandria will surely craft you an experience at every turn. And one of the reasons people come here to the ground is actually to see Kevin Bacon. He, he's an absolute star in this particular place. He is probably more famous than the grounds itself. And if you're visiting, you won't see Kevin no more. He has officially and happily retired at a farm. But for those visiting, need not to worry as the grounds has just summoned a little piggy. Straight out of Hogwarts, Harry Trotter. Well, isn't he adorable? Smash that like button. There's a few notable spaces here. We got Potting Shed for its great cocktail and its house resident, Fluffy the Parrot. The garden space for those barbecue lovers. As well as the farmyard that hosts Ground's new star, Harry Trotter. If you're still seeking variety, then there's a cafe inside which offers menu different from the other spaces at the grounds. From savory dishes to sweet, sweet, delicious looking dessert, they got it all. My selection though for today is a steak sandwich. Alright, uh, I really don't know where to start here. This It's just so big. I think you can just, oh you can, okay. I can just take that off. Look at that. There's so much stuffing there. This is going to be quite a blast in my mouth. Mm. Wow. Meat is so tender. You can feel the tomato bursting in your mouth. And that egg, mm. one hell of a combination, really. It's amazing. So apart from the cafe, they also have the flower shop right behind me here, where they have all the flowers. And during the weekend, which is Saturday and Sunday, they also have market. All right, so we are now on our second stop, which is Devon Cafe, a short way from Central Station. And you got this gem of a cafe. It's great because the food looks absolutely stunning for Instagram, but the taste also is mm, absolutely beautiful. So tell me ordered the Sukuma breakfast. I've ordered the egg blini, and I can't wait. It looks fantastic on Instagram. I want to see it for myself, right? But. As always, we love our coffee, so we're gonna have to drink a cup of coffee first. This is our second coffee now, right? We're gonna be wide awake tonight. Mm. Now we've got the eggs blini right here. This is a seasonal menu from Devon Cafe, so it only comes on winter. So you take a look at the first page of the menu, there's always seasonal stuff as well. Look at all the truffle there, hollandaise sauce with the egg. It's just beautiful. You go underneath there, there there's like there's all of the mushroom there and there's a pancake underneath as well. You can see how crispy it is. See that? Like it's it's cooked medium rare. That is one of my favorite ways to cook meat. Absolutely. Mm. So crunchy. The meat is super tender. It's really tender and juicy as well. Now let's try it. Let's cut the egg too. Let's take a look. Look at that. It's the best poached egg I've ever seen. Let's eat it with the truffle too. Mm. Feels like you're eating a mushroom, but really dry mushroom and it's still flavorful. What the truffle does is just gives you that garnishing flavor on top of the already awesome hollandaise sauce egg as well. Oh, this is so good. So breakfast with Takuma is one of the most popular dish in Defon Cafe. This is basically a salmon cooked in the miso and also they have the 63 degree um, onsen egg. So it's typical Japanese fusion breakfast and lunch. Look at that! It's runny, yum! Okay, let's try it! Mm. 
very cranky. I can't talk. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> it's so good. Often when you're seeking photogenic food, the experience lacks in flavor. But our third final stop, Cup of Flower, combines the impossible in giving you the best of both worlds. So, we are actually in the last cafe, the third cafe called Kupa Flower. This cafe is located in Waterloo and they're famous with their chiffon cake. So this is Totoro chiffon cake. Well, basically it's just a chiffon cake but it looks super cute and everyone just come here to basically take picture and then just insta, 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 insta this. And also we found this. The brown bear, so if you know lime, which is sort of sort of like WhatsApp. So this is the one of the character, which is brown bear. So cute. So this one is actually chocolate and macadamia. It looks super rich though. Okay now so we're gonna start eating this guy. Oh I feel so sad. Look at the cream. cream is so nice because it makes it fluffy and yeah you can basically taste the uh, black sesame okay lastly we need to cut this little guy right through the face Ooh. this is actually quite rich well I prefer the chiffon cake because it's lighter in texture but you know this for Insta. Who cares? As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's Instagrammable Cafe episode. If you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, please leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to see help me eat more dessert, yep, dessert get a little lover. chabir. <laughs> also leave a comment down below. And why not smash the like button while you're at it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for our weekly food and travel adventure. See ya! See ya! Oh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> potting shed. The parrot at potting shed. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yes. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, come down. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.